Connecting Central Texas. This is 25 News. And here are your latest 25 News headlines from Central Texas. I'm Dennis Turner. Neighbors in Colleen made an early showing today of their support for the city's efforts to curb crime. The march started at the site of a shooting that killed a young boy. From that apartment complex, the march made its way to Condor Park. Sending a message, this community will do all it can to help police by keeping a watchful eye out on their neighbors and their city. At the park, the crowd heard from guest speakers and then headed to the community center down the road for a presentation made by Colleen students. Leaders at the Clifton Independent School District in Bosque County tell 25 tonight a second reported threat to the high school there turned out to have no basis in fact. They say the so-called threat to the shoot up the school during the Friday's pep rally came from a student who made it up. When investigators asked the student to show them the messages, she admitted she never got them. Nonetheless, Clifton police and ISD officials say that they will continue to take all potential threats seriously. Now let's check our 25 First Alert Central Texas forecast with meteorologist Josh Johns. And I'm meteorologist Josh Johns. If we look at your 10-day forecast, going to have a warm stretch of days with temperatures in the 70s to start off the holiday week. As we head towards the end of the week, though, rain chances coming in just in time for Thanksgiving before another cold front cools us off there for next Sunday. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dennis Turner. Before we get back to ABC Saturday Night Football, we have this update for you on your 25 News for Central Texas. Neighbors in Colleen made an early showing today of their support for the city's efforts to curb crime. The march started at a site of a shooting that killed a young boy. From that apartment complex, the march made its way to Condor Park, sending a message to the Colleen community.
Thanks for joining us. I'm Dennis Turner. Before we get back to ABC Saturday Night Football, we have this update for you on your 25 News for Central Texas. Neighbors in Colleen made an early showing today of their support for the city's efforts to curb crime. They staged a march that started at the site of the shooting that killed a young boy. From that apartment complex, the march made its way to Condor Park, sending a message that the Colleen community will do all it can to help police by keeping a watchful eye out on the neighbors and their city. At the park, the crowd heard from guest speakers and then headed to the community center down the road for a presentation by Colleen students. Leaders at the Clifton Independent School District in Bosque County tell 25 a second reported threat to the high school there turned out to have no basis in fact. They say the so-called threat to shoot up the school during the Friday pep rally came from a student who made the whole thing up. When investigators asked the young lady to show them the messages, she admitted she never got them. Nonetheless, Clifton ISD and police say they will continue to take all potential threats seriously. Now let's get a look at our first alert 25 Central Texas forecast with meteorologist Josh Jones. This has been a beautiful day out there with plenty of sunshine. Those dry conditions will allow temperatures to drop quickly as we go through the evening. We'll be at 53 by 7 o'clock. We got up into the 60s earlier, upper 40s by 8 o'clock, 48 there at 9 o'clock, and then we'll be dropping down to the lower 40s by 10 to 11 o'clock. So a quick drop off in temperatures. If you're going out this evening, you're going to want to take a jacket, maybe a coat with you. Winds will be on the calm side. That'll also help allow those temperatures to drop. By the time we get into the morning, we'll be in the upper 30s pretty much area wide. Maybe see a little bit of a little bit of frost on your windshield, so give yourself a little bit of time. If you're heading off to church early in the morning, give yourself a little bit of time to get that off. And then beautiful days on tap for Sunday as well. South winds are going to be warming us into the upper 60s, even a few 70s out there. And those south winds will continue on into Monday, a warmer start on Monday. And then Monday during the day, look at this, climbing up into the upper 70s. It wouldn't surprise me if we touch 80 in some of our western counties. So a beautiful day coming in on Sunday and Monday. Changes are coming up for the Thanksgiving holiday, though. I'll have more details coming up tonight on 25 News after they game about the potential for some rain showers for your Thanksgiving. We hope you tune in then. No, a minute 15. Okay, yeah, no problem. I'll just do this. I got the headlines graphic. Just give me my countdowns and I'll roll through it. Thank you, sir. Well, good Saturday evening and thanks for staying tuned to 25 ABC. Hope you're enjoying tonight's presentation of ABC Saturday Night Football with a game that's a Pac-12 matchup between Oregon and Arizona State. And if you're heading out this evening, you're going to want a jacket. We'll be dropping those temperatures quickly. Had a beautiful day out there today with temperatures in the mid-60s. They'll be falling down in the 40s by 8 o'clock and even lower 40s by the time we head towards 10 to 11 o'clock. Winds will stay calm tonight with the clear skies. That's why temperatures are going to drop so quickly. As you go into the morning tomorrow, starting off in the upper 30s. So if you're heading off to church, give yourself just a little bit of extra time. You may have a little bit of frost on your windshield. And then as we get into the afternoon, another beautiful day with temperatures getting in the upper 60s and lower 70s. The warmer south winds keep blowing on Monday. That's going to get us into the upper 40s for lows Monday morning. And then look at this Monday afternoon. It's not even going to feel like November outside. Upper 70s, lower 80s possible across the area. So a nice November day. We'll have more details coming up on 25 News at 10 after the game on the details of this very nice weekend. The dry stretch of days we have and the potential for a few rain showers as we head into your Thanksgiving holiday. You won't want to miss that forecast tonight on 25 News after the game. We'll let you know when you can see some of that rain for your Thanksgiving. We'll see you after the game.
I gotta put some captions in, so it'll just take about five minutes or so if you're ready for that, though. Okay.